What's up everybody, this is the Fandu 21 once again. And what you're looking at here today is a 52 inch polished brass Homestead Super Fan ceiling fan. I'm definitely a very odd fan here in terms of its mechanical design. Um, basically on looks here, it looks pretty much like a cross between a Homestead Whisper Fan 2 and a Whisper Fan 4. The Whisper Fan 2 was a four blade S-Vent fan. The, not basically a spinoff of the Casablanca Zephyr basically and the Homestead Whisper Fan 4 which was um, had their own design it was a or, more of an ornate six blade fan just like this here but like I said it's a cross it has the Whisper Fan 2 housing but with six blades which was a characteristic of the Whisper Fan 4 yeah but like I said, a very interesting fan in terms of its motor design. And what I mean by that is that this fan was actually a DC powered fan originally. It had a specialty wall control, which had a bridge rectifier, which transverted your 120 AC voltage into 150 DC voltage, which would power the motor. And I think it was a variable speed control, if I'm not mistaken on this fan like I said it was a specialty wall control only made for this fan if you hooked it hooked the motor up to AC power it would not be good I'll just say that so like I said this fan had a DC motor but of course the wall control nowhere in sight so and then I didn't know about these fans until after I got this thing years ago so what am I going to do with this thing well, what I decided to do with it is I basically threw an Emerson K55 motor in there, did some modifications, and got the fan converted to a Emerson K55 three-speed with Casablanca Electronics. So this fan is a three-speed fan currently, and it is electrically reversible. However, these reversing switches inside of the switch housing, it's not, I don't have it sticking out anywhere. I really don't want to draw a square hole. I without completely ruining the switch housing so the reverse switch is in the switch housing all you gotta do is just take the switch cap off and flip the switch and you have the fan run on updraft so for this video you will not be seeing updraft mode on this thing just because i'm lazy but that's all right the fan spins for basically the same speed in both directions so without further ado We'll start up here on the low speed. As far as date wise goes, I think this thing was made of some manufactured sometime around 1984 or 1985. He uses the generic ball and socket mounting system that Homestead used in the mid 80s. As you can see, the down rods got the spiral embossments in it. Down rods like 14 or a foot long. So the fan hangs right on the low here in my basement here. So I have to definitely be careful when I reach in the spans of speeds on this thing. But with the Emerson K55 motor, it has a pretty nice low speed here. Nice and aesthetic. take it up to the medium speed and yes I did have to draw a hole out in the switch housing to install the pull chain switch absolutely like I said being a wall control fan there was nothing on the switch housing at all. The only thing that was in that switch housing, if I'm not mistaken, was this leads for the light kit. There was no electronic control boards or anything on this thing. As all the speed controlling systems was on this was on that specialty wall control. Very smooth running fan. The bearings in the new motor here are pretty good shape. 
I can't tell you what era Casablanca this motor came out of. Definitely from the late 80s, if I were to guess. Probably like a layout out of a Delta II, I think. And there's the high speed. As you can see, the motor does a pretty good job pushing the blades around around 200 RPM. Blades have like a 13 or 14 degree blade pitch. So, it is a pretty decent performer. It's got a bit of wobble to it. Pretty common with six blade fans. Blades seem to be pretty well in alignment. They're not really that warped. There's some difference in the travel, if I were to call it. So who knows. But a very quiet fan. Very good running fan as well. For a Frankenstein concoction creation done by yours truly. Gonna power this thing off, let it coast. Yeah, someone else got a hold of this fan and tried to hook it up to this regular AC power, it would not end well for them. They would have been pretty upset. probably love to have a ton of bad reviews like what people do anymore. And also I did have to bolt the original flywheel on the fan onto a onto a Casablanca flywheel as well. As of course the K55 motor shaft is larger in diameter than the original General Electric motor that this fan power was powered with. But everything actually fitted together pretty decently. I was surprised. I didn't have to really do any kind of fabrication. And we've got another forever spin down time here. And there you go. There was the Homestead Superfan 52 and ceiling fan modified to run on alternating current power from the mid 80s. So thank you for watching and I do hope you enjoyed this video. And like always, we'll be seeing you next time.